Welcome back to another jewelry making tutorial. I'm Julia Bell, and today we are making this wire wrapped amethyst ring. For this project, I will be using 20 gauge round sterling silver dead soft wire and 26 gauge wire for the wire weaving. You will also need a bead. I'm using a 4 millimeter round amethyst gemstone bead. The only tools required for this ring are wire cutters, flat chain nose pliers, and a ring mandrel. To get started, cut about 7 inches of 20 gauge wire. Use whatever round bead you would like. This ring would look great with any bead 4 to 6 millimeters in diameter. Now thread the bead onto the middle of the 20 gauge wire. Start wrapping the 26 gauge wire onto the 20 gauge wire. Make sure that when you trim the wire tail that the end is tucked between the wrap and the bead. Hold the wire in place with your thumb and secure it on the other side of the bead by wrapping the wire over the top. Going around the 20 gauge wire and then back around the bead where we started. Continue wrapping the bead like this, making sure each new wrap is below the previous wrap. After wrapping the bead two times, put a bend in the middle of the wire where the bead sits. Continue wrapping the bead another two times. Make sure the wraps are tight and secure. End the wrap by looping the wire twice around the 20 gauge wire and trimming the tail and tucking in the end with the chain nose pliers.
Now, wrap the whole band around the mandrel, two sizes smaller than you need the ring to be at first. Bend the two wire tails over the top and underneath the ring. And then slide down the ring to the size that you need. Take the chain nose pliers and put 120 degree angle bends at the corners where the wrap starts and ends. Holding the piece secure with your thumb, curve the top wire over the top of the bead and then down at the corner. Carefully take the ring off the mandrel and flip it over. And then do the same to the other wire end. Trim each wire tail down to a little longer than about a half an inch. And then wrap around both ring band wires only one time for now. Do the same thing on the other side. Now go back in with your chain nose pliers and tighten the wraps evenly. Put the ring back on the ring mandrel and pull each wire down over the front of the ring. Tighten each side of the ring again with the chain nose pliers. Push the wire tails towards the inside of the ring band and then trim. Tuck the ends neatly on the inside of the ring. Check the size of your new ring on the mandrel and you're done. What a beautiful ring. This one came out great. If you like this ring, please let me know by liking this video. And be sure to subscribe for more tutorials like this one. Also, check out my Etsy shop and let me make something for you. Thanks for watching, everyone.